Welcome to the Elevator World Podcast. This is your daily industry news update for January 12th, 2016. In today's news, Kone will outfit metro stations and towers in China. Lurch Bates promotes Ken Dietz to regional manager. A two-tower development in Dallas nears completion. And a recent accident renews support for a safety act in New York. Kone continues to win significant work in China, including contracts to provide 129 units to the expansion of the metro in Jingzhou, 111 elevators to Nanjing Qingfine Center in Nanjing, and 38 elevators to the Diwan International Fortune Center building complex in Luzhou. Involving 10 stations, the metro contract consists of 109 transit master escalators and 20 monospace elevators. King Find Center consists of a 168 meter tall office building, four residential towers, and a retail podium for which Kone is supplying 28 mini space and 23 mono space elevators, along with 60 Travel Master escalators. That project is scheduled for completion in early 2017. For the Luzhou development, scheduled for completion at the end of 2016 and consisting of a trio of residential towers, Kone is supplying two monospace and 36 minispace elevators. Lurch Bates Incorporated has promoted Ken Dietz from project to regional manager in the Los Angeles, Las Vegas market. Dietz was hired at the new local office in 2013 and prior to that had handled several significant projects in Los Angeles and Las Vegas. He has nearly 16 years of experience, including a stint with Otis. He holds a BA from Norwich University in Vermont and a JD from Western New England University. The Dallas Morning News reports that ground was scheduled to be broken on January 15th on an uptown Dallas project consisting of a 34-story apartment tower and 20-story office tower in which Price Waterhouse Coopers, PWC, will be the anchor tenant. The HKS-designed $250 million U.S. dollar development is scheduled for completion in late 2017 and entails PwC moving from its current downtown location. It is being developed by Trammell Crow Company in partnership with Metropolitan Life Insurance and includes approximately 250 apartments, 500,000 square feet of office space and retail overlooking Clyde Warren Park. DNA Info New York reports that an accident on New Year's Eve 2015 in which a 25-year-old man lost his life as a result of trying to exit a stalled elevator cab in a New York City apartment building has renewed support for the Elevator Safety Act, a New York law first proposed in 2011 and 2012 that would require licenses and training for elevator mechanics and for a state body to oversee safety. The bill, sponsored by State Senator John J. Bonasic, has strong support among elected officials and safety activists, but has never been brought to the floor for a vote. Proponents believe it could help prevent accidents, such as the one that occurred on New Year's Eve. For more industry-related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Elevator World.